Hey there, it's Petey Two Finger. I'm back with uh, concert tips, how to behave in public. So maybe you're, you're out, you, you went to that ZZ Top, this Trace Hombres cover band, and let's say that you're uh, nine feet tall and you weigh 487 pounds. You've got your Carnhart boots on, your orange shirt, your giant mustache. You've got your doobage and you've been drinking all day. You, uh, you've got a you're loaded down with flasks full of rum and whiskey, uh, and you've got plenty of doobage. Uh, if you approach the area and you see a small family with young children uh, standing on their blanket and firing up the doobage, when the dad says to you, hey, pal, you're ashing on my kids, and you're blocking the entire family's uh, view. Well, that was at a Roger Waters. That was like... $30 a ticket when that happened, uh, and the whole family was there. Uh, when the guy uh, gives you a look and says, would you maybe want to smoke your pot elsewhere, uh, don't attack him. Don't, don't. It's not showdown at the OK Corral. If someone calls you out for inappropriate behavior in public, and they're cool, they're like, hey, would you maybe want to think about smoking your doobage a little like not on my family's blanket where my little kids are when the ashes are falling on them that doesn't give you grounds to attack to fight it's not throw down at the okay corral so again if you're anything over six foot tall like let's say you're seven nine you're gonna want to find a place in the back okay if there's a small, a short woman, and let's say a handicapped man in a wheelchair, and you're 8, 11, 957 pounds, uh, the best place for you to sit would not be in front of a woman who's 4 foot 8. Okay? So again, all of this can be rectified by when you approach the area where you're going to stand, you look. And you're you're thinking, am I because I'm so unbelievably uh, massive? Where would I best sit, where I'm not going to offend an entire group of people who have arrived way earlier than me? If you're coming in and the show's halfway over, over you're eleven foot eight. Why don't you stand in the back row? The PA is loud enough, and you're going to be able to see over everyone's head. So again, the further away you get from six foot tall, the further back you need to sit. The people in front are the people who really, really care about seeing what's going on in the stage. There's two types of people who want to go on the front. They're the people that really, really love the band, and then you got the people that want to show off and dance. Those people will usually not go in the center. They usually will go towards the sides of the stage because they know that area in the center is full of the people that want to stare at what's going on in the stage. So those people that are dancing on the side, they've got the right idea, except maybe you want to move back to count 12 paces 12 times. So that's 144 paces in the direction away from the stage. And then when you get back past where there isn't anyone sitting on the lawn, dance back there. You can hear the music just as good because we don't really want to see you twirling around or writhing around or your boobs come flying out of your top. So again, every inch you are over six foot means another six yards you need to move back from the stage. So let's say you're 19 feet tall. What would that be? How many inches? 12 times 9 times 6. That's a big number. So you're going to want to get a walking stick is what you're going to need. Something with a leather hand grip to keep you from getting blisters. You're going to need uh, to bring water and pack a lunch because you've got a long hike. Again, I'm Petey Two Finger, and this is how we behave in public when we go and attend a cover band. Uh, one more point that I want to bring up, if it's, let's say, it's a Santana cover band, it's not really Santana. 
you don't need to cut yourself or light yourself on fire. It's not the real band, okay? If it's a Beatles cover band, it's not John, Paul, George, and Ringo. We don't need to get that worked up over it. It's just some people who enjoy the music and put together a little group to honor their heroes. So again, it's not the real people. We don't need to self-immolate. We don't need to get tattoos. We don't need to go sleep with the band. It's not, it's not the real band that you're seeing in po Podunk, Ohio, or you know, Indiana. It's not the real band. So let's calm down. Let's honor everyone's you know, a couple of feet of personal space. Let's move it back a little bit. Make sure we're going to eat a, a three meals a day. If we're going to drink, we want to have a breakfast, going to have a big lunch, and going to have a dinner before you go to the show. We don't need to wake up and be drinking hard liquor all day and then go to the show and get into the tap beer because that's going to be a bad recipe. You're going to end up offending quite a few people. So I'm Petey Toothinger, and these are handy tips for how to, how to enjoy your summertime music events, your free concert events. Because it seems the ones where you pay for a ticket, there's a lot less of this shenanigans. But the free concerts, you got to watch out. And if you, if you have a... Uh, mentally challenged or some sort of tropus riding offspring, uh, bringing them to every show and having them dance in front. Um, people are going to stare. So that's up to you. That's up to you. I, if I had a kid who had something really wrong with it, like, a, you know, I, I would not want them in front of a huge group of people dancing every week. But we're starting to get off on the side tropics. So I'm gonna I wanna keep this short. Uh, let's let's enjoy and and let everyone enjoy.